Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. This is a series that premieres every Saturday, 3pm UK time. There is a live chat which is always full of just wonderful people. I'm always there also. I don't know if you call me a wonderful person but it's there anyway. Um, it's just a nice chilled space. So if you're feeling lonely, if you're feeling low, you want to chat makeup or you just want to chat to some different people then Come Chameleon is the place to be. So first off, I'm just gonna get into the makeup. I'm going in with the P. Louise Base Pro in the shade Room 02. I love this. Um, I remember to do eyes first. Feeling pretty smug today. Smug? Clever. I don't even know if that's the right word. So. Let's get some of this on my eyes. Now, my week has been pretty up and down, actually. I will we'll go into the highs first. So, I collabed with two absolutely wonderful people um, this week. So, I collabed with Erica, Erica Conga, who... I'm pretty sure you all know who she is by now. She has become just a, a sister to me, family, and I love her. Um, and the other collaborator was Marina from Makeup by Marina. If you don't know who she is, then you really need to. These are just two wonderful, colourful people. I love them both. Both channels will be linked in the description box below. If you haven't checked them out already, please go and do so. Um, but our collab, we did um, a look inspired by our interpretation of a carnival. And it was so, so much fun. Like, I, I think I got a little bit carried away. But I think that's what, that's what these kind of creative things are for. Speaking of creative... Uh, creative things. I have a thought. I don't know if it's something that people are going to want to see or not. Um, but I was thinking it was actually um, the collab that got me thinking about doing a like, creative makeup tag and just to encourage others just to kind of step outside the boundaries of you know straight up makeup and just be a bit more creative have a bit of fun and i don't know if that's something that other people are going to going to be up for or, but yeah i thought maybe maybe that would be a plan yeah let me know what you guys think and obviously if you are one of those that has your own channel let me know if that's something you would be up for doing also but I don't know about others. I I love to just sit, play and be creative, not be restrained by anything. And I think sometimes you just need that. So yeah. It's a thought. I'm throwing it out there. Let me know your guys thoughts both as subscribers and also as other creators. I'm interested to uh yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see, because I would love to see um, some more creators getting more creative. In that collab, I used the W7 Mardi Gras Express Yourself palette. I was impressed by what I used at the time. So this is what she looks like. I think it's pretty, pretty obvious that it's a direct copy of the Love Tahiti palette. We're not going to go into all the ins and outs of all of that in this video um, I am going to start with Van Dyke which is the deepest purple I'm not going to be using the mirror for that because uh, it aches trying to hold that up all right so oh, the brush I am going in with is a Morphe brush it doesn't say what the name is but it's just a little one like that so yeah 
Um, also this week, um, as many of you will know, we've had baby snakes hatch. Uh, we have five of them. They're all out now and they're all waiting um, with tight skin to shed their first skin. Um, but yeah, that is really exciting. Um, I will more than likely next week um, either have pictures or a baby or two to show you if if you would be interested so yeah do let me know if you'd like to see the little bubbers that's obviously if they're if they're all shed out and looking good or feeling happy they are so super cute though there's just something about baby or baby anything's really because it's going new new to the world hasn't got a clue what it's expecting and they're just like having a look around and everything's a new experience and it has been so fun to kind of watch them explore their like new world which is what it is to them because for the last i can't even think how long because my brain's fogged they have been inside an egg I mean, obviously I don't know what goes on in their brains, how much they can think. There's still conflicting views on, you know, how much, how much understanding animals have. But anyways, this isn't the video for that. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to mention that because obviously last week I showed pictures of the four that were out at that time. And yeah, they're all doing really, really well so far. They look really healthy. They are nice, chunky babies. So yeah. And uh, on the subject of snakes, I had my best friend's daughter around here yesterday as I'm filming this. Um, she is besotted with the snakes. It is so sweet to see. Um, like new people learning about the hobby, about keeping snakes responsibly, um, making sure that you are taking care of everything that ne they need. Because obviously it's the same with any animal. Um, when you take on an animal, you take on responsibility for their health, their welfare. They don't ask to be with you. So you have a responsibility to give them everything they need and um, there's just too many people that go into this hobby probably with a lot of different animals but obviously the uh, this is the hobby I am a part of the community I am a part of and it is heartbreaking to see the people that are just in it for just personal gain like money and they don't actually care whether the animal has a good life, if they have everything they need, if they're actually thriving rather than just surviving. So yeah. I have been glued to, I have no idea how I have not discovered the channel until now. Um, because I, I know the guy, uh, Kevin McCurley, he is absolutely fantastic. He is um, the main guy at Nerd, which is New England Reptile. I can't remember the last word, but it's Nerd anyway. N-E-R-D. Um, so yeah, I kind of discovered his channel. And, oh, it's it's so inspiring to see people with that much knowledge educating others I mean that guy just his knowledge and his respect of the animals just blew me away so yeah I went off on one a bit watching his videos and yeah super super impressed and uh, anyone interested in not just owning snakes but learning about them yeah, nerd, if you search kind of nerd, reptile, something like that, it it will come up. But yeah, I found 
as as a snake keeper um i mean i have a i have a reasonable amount of knowledge you know more than enough to uh keep and breed the snakes that i have but yeah when you meet or when you around not even in person but obviously watching videos and stuff people like kevin mccurley are just they're just like gods i want to say like gods of the uh the snake snake keeping hobby or reptile keeping hobby because it's not just snakes that he uh owns and does videos on Anyway, just staying on the subjects of snakes for a moment. Obviously, my best friend's daughter was around uh, yesterday learning, like, care of them and just getting some experience, spending time with some different snakes with different temperaments, etc. Um, and yes, they do all have their own personality, their own temperament. Um... There are some grumpy ones, but there's some grumpy people too. Now it is what it is. Right, let's move on to another colour. What am I going to go in with next? What do I want? Hmm. So I think next I'm going in with Rex, which is that purple up there. And although I've been in a lot of pain the last few days, um, yesterday was slightly better. So I had my big boa out for cuddles and he is a, he's a big softy. He's seven for, he's also seven years old. Uh, I have had him since he was a tiny little baby and he sat in the palm of my hand and oh, it just whilst you know not, nothing including the painkillers apparently are going to get rid of the pain I think happiness definitely plays a role and he makes me so happy I mean all of the snakes do but Severus is my baby and he loved it so obviously, well obviously my daughter helped out holding him a bit as well because I I do struggle a bit because of the pain and he is very strong he's very heavy very strong um no malice in him whatsoever it's just for me um with my pain levels and my strength is it's just hard to hold him for too long but it it really made me feel so so much better i think everybody has that you know that thing that it's obviously colorful makeup helps too most definitely but there's something magical about having I say a relationship with an animal. Snakes aren't the same as keeping, say, a cat or a dog. They don't have those same bond, same attachments, same bonds. See, a snake will become kind of used to your smell. Um, they become very tolerant of being handled if it's done regularly and they feel that nothing bad's going to happen to them if they don't feel threatened or anything um i mean boas are they're pretty intelligent admittedly our super dwarf retic is far more intelligent um and they're known as being a more intelligent species of snake um i think sev's pretty he's a pretty intelligent boy I'm really enjoying this I still I say still I, I haven't touched the Love Tahiti palette I have so I can't do comparisons um plus I, I don't really want to that doesn't sound nice but for my own reasons 
let's just go with that but yeah i'm i'm impressed with i'm impressed with this so far i took that a little bit high oh well these things happen <laughs> so yeah that's like some of my kind of happy happy stuff So while we're on the subject of like pain, I I will do my best to keep on top of videos and to keep you know making something. Um, but with the pain I'm in, I can't promise how often there will be. The one promise I will make is, Karma Chameleon to me is a priority. So this video will take priority over any others um because i think it it's important to bring people together um anytime it's important to bring people together but with not only this kind of with the pandemic as it's been but also i mean in the uk everything's opening up you know, people are getting back to something that resembles a normal life. And whilst it's exciting for a lot of people, probably for most people, it can be quite daunting. I say most. Um, for a lot of people, it, it's going to be a very daunting experience, regardless of whether you struggled with anxiety, social anxiety before. People have been stuck indoors, keeping to themselves for such a long time that you know it's not that you forget how to talk to other people but it it becomes what well, i feel it's 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 taken away the normality of it and so i think at any time i would you know definitely prioritize karma chameleon but i think it's especially especially important with things as they are. I will go back through the colours after. What colour do I want next? Hmm, do we want to jump to pink? I think I do actually. Yeah, I do. So I am going to go in with Jammin. I just want to do something that's yeah, a bit fun. A bit fun? A lot of fun. So I spoke with the physio team this morning and I have my first appointment it is going to be at the end of September which is fantastic I'm I'm so looking forward to like just hopefully getting some of my independence back at least no, I'm I'm not going to get my hopes up and you know think I'm gonna be completely back on my feet and everything's gonna be hunky dory. But if I could even just walk to walk around to the shop on my own, it would it would just give me back some independence that I I am lacking and I am missing. These colours are so pretty. Hmm. I like this a lot. Yeah, I definitely enjoyed playing with it for the collab video. So yeah, it was in the Collab video. I also used the Beauty Bay Brights 16 color palette, which, if you don't, if if you love bright colors and you don't own that, you're missing out. Um, I, I don't have the large one, the large bright mattes, which I really want and is on my list. Um, yeah, the 16 color one will. Be, it's it's so good the quality is so good oh it's pink 
this pink is so beautiful it is unreal wow Yeah, that's uh, another bit of news that I am super excited by. I, I can't get over this pink. This pink is just absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, I was sat listening to Chuckademus and Pliers uh, whilst I was getting ready, uh, like doing my skincare, etc., and my eyebrows. I love Chuckademus and Pliers. For one, they take me back to my my youth, but also they're they're just I love listening to them. They make me feel so happy. They're just it's just really happy music and I love it. Right. Yeah, this this is stunning okay all right we'll take a slightly slightly more open one you'll do and i am then going to go in with identity which is the really pale pink the really pastely pink and i'm just going to use this over the very edges just to soften so I'm not expecting this shade to kind of stand out I just want to use it to just soften that edge just like that so yeah how has your week been guys has anything exciting happened please do share as as you all know i love to hear how you guys are getting on and what you've been up to i mean you guys don't don't feel like subscribers you feel like friends i think we're all friends here so if you are one of those that watches karma chameleon at the premiere but doesn't post or doesn't chat in the live chat please don't feel that you have to but everybody is welcome in there it's just it's a really happy friendly place to be on a saturday afternoon well in the uk saturday afternoon <laughs> so yeah Yeah, this is this is definitely making me happy. I am taking this pale pink right up to the brow for no other reason than that because I want to. So I kind of had an idea-ish what I wanted to do today. But for Karma Chameleon especially, I don't like to kind of give myself any of you have to do this and I think I wanted Karma Chameleon just to be one of them places that I'm pretty sure there's a lot of you who like me um makeup is it's kind of, it's a therapy it's 
helpful it makes you feel good about yourself it's me time there's just so many reasons that people have for using makeup as a therapy and not everybody uses colorful makeup for this it you know sometimes it's just that sitting down having the me time doing something that makes you feel good I am thoroughly enjoying this. I am so impressed with how these shadows are performing. They are stunning. I was wondering if I was going to have to use the black for depth, but I'm not sure that I'm going to need to. We'll see. I just felt like doing something kind of girly and fun. Well, my idea of girly and fun anyway. So yeah, just gonna deepen them up. No. Oh, Steph, what's the word? Um, just gonna go back through and re-intensify them. Oh, wow. We're just going back in with some more shadow. Hope you can see what I'm doing. So my plans for later, um, so this will be yesterday to you guys. Um, my stepson is heading over for to spend the night um the all of the kids in the uk that were doing gcse's got their results yesterday and both my daughter and stepson did so well so proud of them so yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a a little bit of a celebration yeah so they both got the grades that they need for the college courses that they want to do. So I think we have two happy teenagers. I do really feel so much for the kids um, that have had to do their GCSEs and work towards them within these COVID conditions. A lot of the work has been done uh, remotely while they were at home. Um, I know it was a big strain for the teachers because obviously these teachers, they're used to teaching in person. You know, having to, to teach um, via internet, etc. must have been just so hard so so hard for them I really do feel for them Ooh. this is just oh it's just deepened up so beautifully I'm just oh now I've got to remember what ones I went in with <laughs> oh wow come on Steph pull it together and oh speaking of studying um Unfortunately, I'm still in a position at the moment where I can't uh, continue working towards my psychology degree. I am going to have a chat with the university and see if there's any way of me doing it with some help or continuing with some help. Um, because I, well, the other night when I couldn't sleep, um, the pain was so bad I couldn't settle so I sat on my phone just looking up all of the kind of free online courses to learn Spanish and I have loads of things there how successful it will be is you know yet, yet to be seen but uh, it just gave me something to feel like I can work towards at the moment um, while everything else is just not not playing ball 
So, yeah, we'll see. I might have gone into the pink a bit there, but it's okay because we can bring that back. I'm just wiggling between the two just to make sure they are blended. Um, I know I go a bit OTT with blending, but that's me. I cannot get over how well these are performing. I really can't. I'm having no issues whatsoever with these. None. No, I'm not saying I was expecting to have issues, but having seen the original in action, I have my doubts as to how successful <laughs> this would be. That's really harsh. Came with the pink jamming. And these colours are just so bright and happy and beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And taking away harsh lines as we go. This is so pretty. So pretty. <laughs> go back in with the brush with the second purple I'm not happy with I'm not happy with this blend here I'm just gonna go in and uh, make sure I take away any of those harsh lines And back into the pastel pink just to make sure we have no harsh lines around the edge too. This is so much fun. I do love playing. To get rid of the harsh line, just do a little kind of a little wiggle over the edge. And bringing it right into the inner part there and right up to the brow bone. Mm. I've had a couple of you guys ask me about the blending, like how I do it, and it's literally just keep re going over where the harsh lines are, um, little wiggles. It's better to build up slowly than to go in all gung ho. Um, then you have that much more control over what it is you're doing. Yeah, it's just, literally just keep playing, keep having fun with colour, keep playing with colour. Now at the end of the day, if you're not happy with the look, you can wash it off and start again. It's just like, you know, if you're drawing a picture with pencil, you can uh, erase it with a rubber. 
the same principle I feel Alright, I'm just quickly going to just pack on a bit more of Van Dyke, the deepest purple, just on the, the outer area of the lid there. So I think first I might end up going in, actually no, first I'm going to go in with Behave. I'm going to be spraying my brush with all of these because um, generally I either spray my brush or use a glitter primer. And today we are going with spraying the brush. So I'm using the Makeup Obsession So Dope Fixing Spray. I just love this. It's cheap and cheerful but brilliant. So, yeah, so I'm literally just going to pat that on the line there where the deeper shade kind of ends on the lid. Again, not being careful because uh, I don't have my base done so I can clean up any fallout, any mess. And then spray again and just doing the same on this side. Yeah, this is just your, your classic shimmer. Nice. And then let me find the brush I want. And then I am going to go in with Ball, which is this shimmer here. And again, I'm going to spray my brush. Oh, spray the brush, Steph, not the lipsticks. Um, and then this one I'm going to be taking over most of the rest of the lid. This is beautiful. It's not your complete foil. They are quite transparent, but as you can see, you can build up the opacity. I would imagine it would be very difficult to do that without either spraying your brush or using a glitter primer um, but having sprayed my brush this is packing on nice and opaque Ooh. nice i just realized i probably had the mirror in front of you guys so you can't see what i'm doing So I'll make sure I come up close for this one. There is a lot of foil. It's quite a crumbly shade. Look at that. And I'm just patting it over the other one. You can probably see some of the fallout. I'm not fussed about it at all because I, I'm just going to do my base after, so. Pretty sure I've already said that as well, sorry. <laughs> Repeating myself also. <laughs> yeah. That is really nice. Yeah, I really like that. 
really like that. So let's get a little brush. Um, right, the first brush I mentioned, I said obviously that doesn't have a name. The next three brushes are all Spectrum A12s, just from different collections. And the two that I've used so far for shimmers are Morphe brushes that have no name on them but look like that and then for the inner part of my lid I am going to I'm going to go in with royalty and hope that that gives me the effect I want so let's go into royalty give it a spray this brush is a Spectrum A16. I'm going to go straight in up there, Steph, clearly. Again, it's slightly crumbly, but I did load up the brush. Um, yeah. Pretty. Then I'm going to kind of bring it over the shimmer next to it a bit to assist blending them together. I'm still in shock that I've had no issues at all so far. This palette is beautiful. absolutely beautiful look at that oh, stunning absolutely stunning and then spray brush I am getting fallout everywhere, but I am not being careful in the slightest. I'm loading my brush up to the max. But you can do that when you do your eyes first. So you can see the colour just going everywhere. Whilst I'm trying to kind of get the shape, I'm also not being too careful. I don't want the harsh lines. The intention isn't for a cut crease as such, cut crease look. Just wanted a bit of structure. Yeah, I cannot complain so far at all. I'm going to go back in with ball which was the second one and just bring that tap that over the pink a little bit oh um liking this a lot I'm liking this a lot. So to clean up, I'm just going to take a bit of my kind of hyaluronic acid on one of these uh, little cloths. Um, I picked these up from um, somebody on Depop. There's quite a few people that are making their own ones of these. I'm only using this because I haven't got any micellar water. And then just using that to kind of clear up under the eyes Ooh. 
That will do. That will do. Okay, so moving on to my base, I am going to go in with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I really love this. As you can probably see, I've actually hit pan. Um, I love it. I do have a little mini one as well. But this is such a lovely primer. Um, whilst it doesn't kind of get rid of your pores, it, it most definitely does help. Um, I think I always put on a bit more than you need, but uh, oh well, <laughs> I think it works out fine. The um, She Glam, is it Birthday Suit, Birthday Skin? That primer does exactly the same as this. Um, just essentially the same thing. You get more of it, I think, actually. Hang on, let me have a look. Let me have a look. So, for the She Glam one, you get 30 grams and... Oh, it doesn't actually say on the off one. The She Glam one, this is the one. It's She Glam Birthday Skin Primer. This does the same thing. I love it. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just I'm trying to avoid where I have carved out my brows with the concealer. Uh, the concealer I used to carve out my brows is the Natasha Denona Transfix Matte Concealer. I I love that concealer. It's a really nice one. I uh, yeah. My skin's not doing too bad. I've been very good and I've been using my Glow Getter oil every day again. Um, throughout the week I've had a few days where I've not been so great on keeping up with my skincare just because of the pain. Yeah, I do think this does really help. I mean, obviously it's not a magic cure, but... So the foundation I'm going to go in with today is the Urban Decay Stay Naked and I have it in the shade 40NN. I love this foundation so much. So pop some of that on the back of my hand. So I'm going to go in with the Spectrum BO1 um, to my foundation. This foundation is just beautiful. It sits just so kind of skin-like on the skin. It really is kind of a stay naked. But yeah, it, it, it adds a certain amount of coverage. You can build this one up a bit. Um, I quite often do. It's quite an easy foundation to build up as long as you go in with thinner layers then you won't end up looking cakey but definitely always go in with thinner layers if you're going to layer up or you most definitely will get cakey unless you have perfectly perfectly perfect skin which unfortunately I don't and I think that's kind of the theme for the majority of us that are on the older side. <laughs> I can't believe it's like my my birthday, my 40th is in less than three months. It is so scary. I, I just don't know where my life's gone at 40. How? How am I going to be 40? I just feel like someone's playing a cruel trick on me. And 
not using much at all on the forehead um, I don't need to plus I do have lines and I don't want to emphasize them any more than they already are I am however going to just build up the foundation in a couple of couple, couple of areas wow Got in with a little bit too much there, but never mind. We'll uh, spread it out. Yeah, this is a foundation that I highly recommend. It is slightly more on the dear side. I do have um, drugstore um, foundations that are amazing. I'm trying to work out whether, because I've got. I've got quite a few things still left to try. Do you guys, do you guys, <laughs> do you guys um, like a full face of first impressions or would you prefer to see like a full face of say like either drugstore, indie, mainstream? I can do like more high end. I can do that. I'm just never quite sure what it is that people want. But then I'm not looking for people. I want to know what you guys want to see. So please do let me know. I am going out of my way to now do just some more content using the products that I do already have in my collection. Um, whilst also trying to use up the... Use up? <laughs> Go through my boxes of shame. Which now... I kind of cheated so I only have one box of shame now so a lot of the older palettes that I had in my box of shame or boxes of shame uh, ones that aren't like new out I don't want to do a whole video on them um, those ones me and my daughter sat yesterday just swatching them and so I've just I've put them in my collection um, just because I was getting so overwhelmed um, by just the amount of palettes that I had um, in my boxes of shame and there were a couple that when I swatched them I, I thought I'm really not going to use those I have other palettes um, with those colours that I would pick up over these particular palettes so I gave a few to my daughter because I did have I had a Natasha Denona one the cranberry which I was I was really excited by but when I swatched it I just felt a bit meh so I gave that to my daughter along with the Urban Decay Naked Cherry um, I have the honey palette and I love it I really love it and I picked up the cherry naked cherry palette from a a friend who wasn't using it um, so yeah and I swatched that out and it just wasn't doing anything at all for me Ooh. I don't know what's happening with my nose today oh, I've got really dry skin not good so I've grabbed my elf illuminating primer mist um, it's just my face just feels really dry I keep meaning to use a uh, a damp sponge to apply my foundation because I do like to use them it's just that I forget to do it before sitting down to film and then it, I have to go downstairs to wet them and I just very rarely have the energy to be able to do that but never mind yeah yeah it's definitely helped right let's go with concealer 
I'm a bit reluctant to use this now because this is a very matte one. Hmm. I'm not going to. All right, I'm not going to risk that. So I'm going to go in with the Madage Beauty, the Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer. I have it in the shade Medium Light Porcelain and I absolutely love it. So this is not drying at all. So yeah, I'm going in with this one. This is a concealer that I recommend. Obviously it's an Madage Beauty is a UK indie brand. Um, it is not drugstore prices, but I think that's to be expected with indie brands anyway. However, I think this performs as well as, if not better than a lot of the high-end concealers. Yeah, that's definitely a better idea. I think if I'd have gone in over this with my dry skin, with the matte one, it would have would have really dried me out. So yeah, happy with that. This has really good coverage whilst not being heavy and cakey. And I I love that because I do like to have the coverage um because i my skin is very acne prone i do get really red areas and yeah i like to cover them up yeah that definitely looks better and then i'm just going to take that under my eyes let me get a brush what brush am i going to use excuse you So I'm just popping just a bit like that. I don't know why I keep feeling the need to kind of sing, sing stuff. <laughs> I'm putting a bit extra because I've got, I've got some bags going on there. Um, I think due to not sleeping so well this week. I do want to cover and brighten those. And yeah, this this concealer is amazing for that. It doesn't it doesn't make my under under eyes look older, which is the main thing for me. Because I'm quite it's not that I mind being older or I'm ashamed of being older I just don't like that my my life's kind of disappearing by me so fast and yeah of course I do miss having younger skin who doesn't but uh, aging skin it shows that you've you've lived Nice. But today I am really feeling the really feeling like using some cream products. So I am going into the She Glam Stereo Face Six. I have the French Girl one. I'm not sure if there's one or two others. Um, and I am going in with cinnamon. And I am taking that on a Luxie 542 flat contour brush and just going straight in. I might have taken a bit much actually. Look at this does blend so well. Yeah, I definitely went in with too much. <laughs> oh well. It does blend out really nicely I thoroughly thoroughly enjoy this cream palette cream face palette it is 
it is just beautiful. Take a bit more to make it match. Nice. Going to go over the edges, bottom edges, and of that with my foundation brush just to soften it in. And then up and around the edges of my forehead and just change the shape. Oh dear, I'm in one of them moods again today. I'm just I'm trying to enjoy what... So I'm never kind of out of pain. I am constantly in pain. But when I have those periods of time where it's more manageable, I like to make the most of them. And makeup for me, my makeup and my snakes are just perfect for that and when the pain's really bad i've got uh poppy and mr fluff to snuggle me bless them mr fluff was uh a rescue cat came from the cats protection league um which you'll know of if you're in the UK. I'm not sure what the equivalent is in other countries, um, but he was a sorry, sorry state. He was a year old. He had been like badly mistreated, abused. Um, he has mild brain damage. Um, luckily it is mild. Um, he has trauma damage to the ligaments and muscles in his legs, all four of his legs. Um, so his balance isn't always the best. Um, the vet said it's not going to affect his quality of life. He just might be a bit more prone to arthritis in the older years. Um, but yeah, so he... Oh, and he also, he was recovering from cat flu. So yeah, when he moved in, he was a greasy-haired, skinny, sorry mess of a cat. And he wasn't that confident with people. I mean, in the very beginning, um, within the first few months of having him, he had a thing about he he would have to smell your hair to let you near him. And we had a breakfast bar in this house. And he would get up on this breakfast bar and anyone new coming into the house had to uh, walk over to the breakfast bar and put their head down for him to sniff their hair. And once he'd done that, all was okay. <laughs> this went on for, I say months, it was probably a couple of years. It, it took him a very long time to uh, kind of get out of that mindset of checking everyone out. I'm not quite sure how he did that by smelling hair, but that's how he did it. And that's fine because that's what worked for him. Um... So yeah, as the years went on, um, it was a woman, um, that's all I know, that had inflicted all of this upon him. Um, the vet, she said, you know, you, you don't even want to begin to imagine what the woman had to have done to him to cause the kind of trauma damage to that he had in his uh, ligaments and muscles in his legs. Anyways... So I'm going in with a pink cream blush. This is the Made by Mitchell blush in the shade Posy Rosy. I love this. Um, just pop a bit on my the back of my hand there. Not that much stuff. Do not need much. And get the little brush. So yes, he was more fearful of uh, women 
to start with um well, i say to start with this went on for years um he's never been a cuddly cat um i think just due to the sheer amount of just abuse he had taken from a human um oh i needed more than i thought um so yeah he he's always been a very wary keep to himself not cuddly comes to you on his own terms kind of cat and for a long time in the beginning if he felt threatened he would like attack with teeth and claws um which was just completely understandable because uh i mean nobody knows exactly what he went through but it was bad it was really bad we know that much and because they think it was possibly my dark hair or a perfume i used or something that um kind of made him more wary for a while um with like me in particular it was better with men but anyways we're not going down the the depressing side of it he has been with us for over 10 years now he is going to be 12 years old in november and in these last few months i don't know what it is i don't know whether um the pandemic and us being around more has helped things but he's become a completely different cat he will get on my lap he will let me brush him he will cuddle me and it i've waited <laughs> i've waited for 10 years to like to be able to cuddle him because obviously i would never force that on him you know that's just not i wouldn't do that and uh, i would hope that <laughs> nobody else would would either um but yeah so he has been just such a loving sweet cat and oh it's just such good company now do i even want to powder i think i do a bit not under my eyes what powder do i want to use hmm okay so i'm just going to go in with a finishing powder i don't want anything heavy over top of these cream products so i'm going to go in with the revolution pro pressed finishing powder it looks like this i bought this one by mistake um thinking it was the one that make me up miss her raves about it's not but i did discover that it is a very a very nice finishing powder it does kind of have a, a nice blurring effect i think so yeah <laughs> using that but yeah the whole kind of moral of that was moral the whole point of that was yeah for for cuddling up i have mr fluff and poppy and poppy is nicknamed soppy poppy for very good reasons because she is the soppiest most loving dog ever okay so now working on the lower lash line i am first going to go in with am i yes i'm gonna go in with van dyke and just pop that right up against the lower lash line the edge here to kind of match up a bit and do you have an idea of what i want to and do on the lower lash line i do love not being restricted to i have to do this look or i have to do that look uh, honestly i am i am so happy with the quality of these i did not expect to be able to pull a look together with them like this easy 
it's just been no issues at all i've not had a single problem and to be fair when i did the cleanup it was only the shimmer shades that had ended up under my eyes and on my face the the matte shades just i don't know if it's because i pack more and blend less who knows if you have this palette and you are you use it in a different way to me please do let me know how how you find that because i'm intrigued so i am now oh i didn't say what brush that was did i i'm no good at this and powder i didn't say that one either or oh, right cream blush i used the it's a technique real techniques um buffing brush and then for powder i used a real techniques 300 big fluffy thing i love it and for the first bit under my eyes i used a spectrum what are you i haven't got my glasses on a 13 i think that says yeah we're going with that and now <laughs> i am going in with riviera this beautiful blue and i'm going to take that on a moda small eye shader just a little fluffy one so let's see what this does so yeah last sunday oh I don't know if this is going to be too big. Hmm. Yeah. Another go. So yeah, last Sunday, I, my boyfriend took me out for a drive and we went for a drive along like the seafront and there was a kite festival going on which was really interesting to see beautiful colorful kites and etc do not take too much this time Steph and that was just really nice in itself we were like driving along the seafront I had the window open so I could feel the the fresh air and the sea was like splashing it was so rough it was splashing up against the walls like the the sea walls and it was coming over and it came in the window and I, I didn't want to close the window because it kind of felt like I'd been in the sea into the seaside it was really nice um yeah I really enjoyed that and then we went for a drive around and ended up on um there's a a hill up near here um and it has like parking bays almost like um just by the greenery and everything and there is i say it is in one of the areas there's a burger van which is so well known everybody loves set it was packed out in there so we went along to the next one and there was another burger van um so we parked up you could see the views of the sea and you can even see the isle of wight from there and it was just so nice to be just fresh air coming in through the windows and I had a bacon and egg roll and it was so nice so yeah that was uh it was so nice for me to kind of get out and uh just do something different all right I am going to take a big fluffy brush so this is what even are you you are a luxie 205 tapered blending brush i think so i'm just going to use that to blend out that but because i've been so kind of stuck indoors because of not being able to walk it was just so nice i didn't have to walk anywhere um because I, I just can't anyway I didn't have to walk anywhere and it was just so nice and I think 
it was nice for my boyfriend because most of the time he spends with me he is having to do things for me or help me to do things because of um, the condition I have so it was nice it was like a date it was just like spending time together not worrying about well anything really it was just so nice I'm gonna pop a bit more blue over here and I am going to go back in with Van Dyke that purple just to get that depth back right up near the lash line there so yeah that was so nice just so nice because I do feel guilty that you know, most people spending time with me just have to do things for me or help me with things and I find it really embarrassing for one um, but also I don't know I just feel like it's just nice to be able to spend time with the people you love just to enjoy each other's company I am so happy with this right so for for the inner part under my eyes I am going to go in with Volto this really pale pink shimmer and I'm going to take that on a Morphe M149 this one actually has a name on it and I am going to spray that with the Makeup Obsessions So Don't Fixing Spray just the same as what I used to spray the other ones and I'm going to pop that on this inner part here and just bring that down onto the lower lash line a bit Ooh, so pretty so pretty I thought this was going to be pretty much a nothing shade but yeah it's nice yeah just making sure I pack quite a bit there because I do really want it to kind of stand out that is so pretty yeah I'm trying to think if I've got anything else to talk about I've been trying to catch up with um videos of my friends over here on YouTube other creators um, it's been so nice to see Debbie back and Carolyn after such a long time that's uh, cats wearing makeup I'll link her channel in the description box below and Debbie's because they're both wonderful um, but it's been so good to see Carolyn back she took I think it was like a five month break and yeah it's just she's um an American she lives in London and she is a lecturer at the uni near her and she's been super busy there's been a lot on obviously the pandemic's caused a lot of issues also for any academia based staff yeah that was a really nice surprise And Debbie is just, oh, Debbie is the person that gave me that kick up the ass to start my channel. And I will be forever grateful. Just, oh, it was the best thing that I could have ever done. Start my channel. Um, and thank you so much to all you guys, because you, you make it possible. And I am more grateful than you will ever know right let me get you will do so for the inner corner i want to go a bit crazy so just because i can and i want to i am going to take zesty which is this green shimmer and i'm going to take that on a pract pencil brush pract is like a i think a subdivision or a, the more affordable brushes from sigma I really like this one so I am going to dip into zest and I am going to spray it and I'm going to pop that 
right on the inner corner. This is a bit harder pressed, this one, I think. So I'm just gonna just rubbed my brush around in there a little bit more. And here we go. And I'm just kind of tapping it up and down so it's not like just a block there. I know it's not gonna quite blend into, but look at that. Oh, I love that. I love it. And then same the other side. Please excuse Poppy barking. Um, our ho the house next door to us is for sale and they are currently showing people around and they have no consideration for others. They are letting the gate slam, but never mind. Hopefully that will all be over soon. I'll find someone who wants to buy and then that's it. So yeah, poor Poppy, bless her. She just is convinced that she's convinced that people are trying to get in the house I like this a lot and I think I am going to I'm gonna take that Volto again and spray it and I'm just going to kind of dot that in the very middle part of that just to oh yes that's it just to brighten brighten it a bit just that very inner corner I've got the shakes why have I got the shakes Oh, yeah, I am absolutely loving this. I'm also going to take a tiny bit of that Volto again and just dust a little bit up under the brow. I'm so happy with how this is going. Don't speak too soon, Steph. Don't do it. This palette is beautiful absolutely beautiful so yeah if you're wanting the be perfect stacy marie carnival love tahiti and either you can't afford it or you don't want to support the brand then i would i would definitely recommend this because i have had zero issues uh, like i already said though i can't compare quality because I haven't tried the Love Tahiti palette. I do have it. Um, yeah, I like that a lot. That is really nice. Make sure I bring that green, blow that out a bit more. Oh, yes. All right, I need a break. Um, I need to take some painkillers. I need to get a drink. Um, I'm just going to pop on lashes, liner and lashes, whatever, whilst I'm off camera. And then I will come back to continue. So just stay where you are. Okay, so that break took a little longer than I intended due to pain. So I hope the makeup still looks okay. I'm just going to let you know what I popped on my eyes. So for the wing, I first went in with one of the Lethal Cosmetics Side Effects Gel Liners. This is the shade BPM. Um, I love them. I love the Lethal Liners. And then I went in with the Madage Beauty Liquid Eyeliner, just in the shade black. Um, the mascara I used was the Urban Decay Lash Freak. Um, I still don't get the hype on that but I'm trying 
I'm very trying. Um, the lashes are the Gingerbread Lash from Glamlight. I love these. Oh, crikey, we're knocking everything over. And then in my waterline, I have one of the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners in the shade UNTZ. And we're at this stage now. So I'm going to pull that mirror so I can see what I'm doing. So for contour i am going to go into my kaleidos charisma contour palette i love this so much i'm just going to take a juvia's place highlighter brush um for me this is too big for um highlight but i like to use it for contour so i'm going to go in with the middle shade there and i'm just going to use that just to make sure we've got kind of that that shadow there oh i do have to admit this uh this look is making me feel so much better and kind of forget about the pain a little bit i wish something could completely take it away but no nah, it is what it is I do love this little contour palette, it is just beautiful. I did um and about getting the medium one, um, but this really cool toned shade here is just, just perfect for contouring. Just make sure you get rid of me, me double chin. <laughs> Shape the jawline. And then just a little bit down the nose. So we can uh, not mess it up. Ah, that will do. That will do. I'm just going to take my powder brush quick and just kind of dab over that a little bit. I've got a hair stuck to my face just so there's no harsh lines and put that aside and then for I don't know what I'm doing here let me pop that down there <laughs> for, for blush I am going into the beauty bakery piece of cake blush palette and I am going to take bon appetit the pinky one I'm just gonna take a little she says just a little bit you only need a little bit this these are very pigmented but they're beautiful I'm really tapping it off because I don't want my cheeks to kind of take away from the brightness of the eye look if that makes sense I love this palette. It is so good. So good. Right, highlighter. I am going to go in with the She Glam Metallic Glow Highlighter in the shade Stay Sane. It is this beautiful purple. It doesn't come out quite as uh, intense um, on the face, which I'm not mad at because uh, I don't really want a great big purple stripe but it really does leave a really nice kind of purple tinted shimmer i love it now i'm actually really impressed by pretty much all of the she glam stuff that i have i use a lot of it quite regularly especially foundation foundation i am a huge fan of huge i'm just gonna take a bit of that down the centre of the nose as well and up here and 
And over the lip. I like that. So good. I'm just taking the blusher brush just to make sure they're blended together. Oh, I like that a lot. Right. What's left to do? Lips. That's it. Okay. Right. For my lips, I'm first going to go in with the Colourpop's Licky. I can't speak. I'm first going to go in with the Colourpop Lippy Sticks Primer. Just wow. I have no idea. This is my favourite lip primer ever. And I definitely need to definitely need to get back up of this. So so good. So good. Right, to line my lips, I'm actually going in with am I actually in frame yet? So to line my lips, I'm actually going in with an eye pencil. So this is the Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencil in the shade Purple Rain. Just want to make sure I don't end up with like rough edges. I'm not too worried about it kind of getting everywhere on the inner side because uh, I'm going in with a purple liquid lipstick. Okay, so now I have lined them. I am going to go in with the Madage Beauty, it is one of the liquid lipsticks. It is in the shade Indigo Go Dancer. I love these, these are so good, and they are not just good for lipsticks. Um, if you have a look at the collab I did recently with Erica and Marina, I used them around my face. Yeah. Okay, and now I have that on, I'm going to take Lime Crime's Matte Velveteens in the shade Moonstone. I'm going to do this quickly before my lips dry. I'm checking a bit on my finger. Yes. Um, all right, let me just clean my fingers off. Okay, so I'm just looking at my face and I think I need some more blush. I think I went a little too careful and ended up just with a more bare face still tapping it off a lot just uh just adding a little bit at a time that is a much better much better i'm loving this yeah i love this look if you are here in the live chat thank you we've probably been chatting away having a great time let me know what you think of this look and if you are watching a later time let me know in the comment section below what do you think um i'm really happy with it it's uh brightened up my day anyway so i am going to just go off get a coffee something <laughs> so yeah definitely happy with that again thank you so much for being here if you've liked this video please hit the like button it really helps me out if you're not subscribed already if you like colorful makeup if you like discovering new indie brands or if you just like chatting makeup with people then yeah hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that YouTube notifies you every time I upload. So again, thank you so much, so, so much for joining me today. 
I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.